Hi everyone, good morning, this is Dan, welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions, I greatly appreciate them. This is the daily forecast, it is for all signs, it's a collective energy reading, so it is available to you. Um, whenever you see it, it's originally created for the 22nd of December, uh, Thursday. And, but if you're seeing it on a date that, you know, is different than that date, yet it still makes sense to your situation or it resonates, by all means, utilize the reading. If it doesn't make sense or it doesn't seem to connect with you, that's okay. It doesn't mean you're right or wrong. You just might be working on something different at this time, so take what you need and leave the rest. For those of you that are new, please check out the drop-down menu underneath the um, daily video. In there is the information about the channel that I want you to know about. Things like uh, what decks I'm using, how to contact me via social media for a private reading, and ways to support the channel. Simple ways to do that. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, share the video out, or leave me a question or comment if you read them all. Alright, let's get into this and see what's going on for the day. I will be referring back to the Sunday underpinning energy. That reading populates in the lower left hand corner at the end of this reading. So if you hear me talking about cards that aren't here, on this video, that's what I'm referencing to, and that's kind of the energy that's underneath all of this, kind of working in the background. <clears throat> Excuse me, my nose is running, it's cold, my hands are cold, I don't like it when my hands are cold. Ah, I just can't stand it. It's like, ugh. Too much. All right, let's shuffle the Divine Abundance deck and see what our Oracle card is. So our card for today is the Five of Cups. Oof. She looks like she had a night, huh? Damn. Wow. Are we up in our emotions, folks? All right, I'm going to say this. That's a really interesting, I love this deck. This deck has got really great interpretations of some of these um, court cards, not court cards, but um, pip cards, uh, like the Six of Swords. I really enjoy I love this Five of Cups. Um, the Five of Cups is always about sort of emotional sadness, right? And going through that period, um, kind of reflecting upon something emotionally and feeling maybe slightly overwhelmed by it. And the reason why I say that with this is she looks like she has had a rough night, this woman. And I'm getting the phrase, because of the forest depiction here, can't see the forest from the trees. When we're in the thick of it emotionally, we, it's bigger than it maybe, you know, it's, what is that phrase? Uh, objects in this mirror may appear larger than they actually are, or smaller, you know? But this is where it's appearing larger or more ominous to us, right? We might be caught up in our emotional spaces of loss or failure, reflecting upon, and I don't, I, I don't want to say that they are failures, right? But we might be reflecting back upon this year and kind of where we feel like we could have done better, or it could have been different, or it could have been this, or it could have been that. And it is, that's the truth, like, let's just be honest. But she's sitting there and she's sort of dreaming, like, I'll bring it closer, it's kind of out of focus. She's dreaming of these three cups, right? And where did they all go wrong? Oh my God, help. You know, and she doesn't see that the two of cups is right behind her. There's another option, right? There is, she's only like here as long as she allows herself or needs herself to be, to come clear with what she needs to know emotionally transition out of this place, out of this forest, to get up and start to walk with her two cups. She still has something. There's still something available to her. And two of cups is representational of one of the ro most romantic cards of the deck, in my opinion, next to the lovers. Sometimes I think actually the two of cups is more romantic than the lovers. The lovers is often at times about a choice, right? Uh, we see the word lovers and we think that, oh, it's, you know, lovers. To me, the Two of Cups is like a mirror souls thing. And I forgot to mention yesterday it was 1221 and I'm sort of obsessed with that number right now because it's like about mirrored numbers. And I don't know why I need to learn about 1221. There's something about it. Or at least talking about portals. I have a feeling that there's something weird about the date of 1221. Um, 
it's been ruminating in my head and I can't quite figure it out. So I'm going to have to look it up and see if there's anything any significant about that. But regardless, we just passed through 1221. We might be reflecting and looking back in the mirror, trying to look at the past. And that might be what 1221 is about too, as far as mirrors are concerned. I keep getting 1221 and mirrors in my head. Um, you know, and like the two of cups, that's what I was going to say when all of this is that the, these are two souls that come together from a place of love and mirror back to the other soul, the good, the bad, all of it, right? And that's the sort of the basis of the relationship, right? It's this connection that's somewhat deeper to me than the lovers, in my opinion. So this five of cups, we might be stuck in an emotional, I don't want to say rut, but reflection, let's say, because this is a dream that she's having or she's stuck in her thoughts around a situation that maybe didn't go her way or uh, didn't work out the way she thought um, or the way that we thought it should have. It may feel bigger than it actually is, is my feeling from this forest around her. I feel like the forest also in some ways, I don't want to say it's protecting her, but I get this feeling of protection from those trees. Maybe these thoughts are keeping us away from making the same mistakes again that we've made in the past. And I say that only because we saw the Nine of Wands yesterday. And that is about being smarter, um, working smarter, not harder, learning our lessons from, you know, uh, past challenges and putting those lessons or that learning to good use to build ourselves a sort of protective measure. These trees are kind of giving me a little bit of that protective inward feeling that the wall in the Nine of Wands yesterday was giving us. So what I'm thinking is, if today is a day of emotional reflection for you guys, be kind to yourself, right? Emotionally reflect if you need to, but to understand that not all is lost, right? We still have the Two of Cups there. And when we're done resting, reflecting, going inward, there is a clear path out of this sort of maybe emotional forest. but. To some degree, like, I, I, I do want to say this, I do feel like us doing this is, is protecting us in some way. I can't quite put my finger on it, but maybe it's reminding us of where we've been and where we don't want to return to. And so maybe, although this reflection may be uncomfortable at times, because the Five of Cups is usually a card of sadness or forlorn energy, um, although it may be uncomfortable at times, it, it is serving a purpose. So I wouldn't necessarily resist it, but I also wouldn't get totally sucked into it that the forest seems larger and grander than it actually is, is my feeling, okay? Um, and the other thing I'm going to say about this card, because she's laying there, even though she looks like she's had a rough night, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say this. She is resting. There is like this sort of, if we need a moment to stop and pause today, take it, give it to yourself. You know, emotionally give it to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Remember, this is about finding your own peace this week. That is the grounding stone for this week. So if we need to reflect on the past a little bit, to come to terms with it or find understanding around it for ourselves emotionally and give ourselves a little bit of a break, then by all means do so, right? But don't let it overwhelm you or take over your full perception of everything that's going on is my feeling. Now, let's go to the Divine Abundance deck and see what that card is. Okay, Sanctity. Through offering even the most mundane problem can become through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. So, yes, I'm going to say we are dealing with mundane problems or issues from the past emotionally. I do feel like this sanctity card gives me hope that we are going to figure it out through going through this process. Even if you don't feel as though you're figuring it out, I like that this... Um, Indian god, this monkey god, he is seated towards the future. Um, I like that he's seated meditatively, like he's facing his issues, he's facing his problems. He's, it's almost like this girl who's laying on the ground in the forest has sat up and is now taking this meditation pose to move forward. So at some point during the day, I feel like 
we've understood what we needed to understand from this reflection and now we're ready to move forward and we're ready to hand those problems over to our guides, our God, however you um, connect spiritually. And we're able to understand that on some level everything serves a purpose. I will say this, he's sort of pointing towards the future but he's got this slight gaze to her. Like, do you see where his eyes are? Even though they're in sort of like a meditative state, he almost looks like he's looking back at her, like going, girl, get up. <laughs> like, get up off the ground. Divine Feminine, you deserve more. Yes, go through your emotions. Yes, understand them. Yes, figure it out. But get up and let's go. Hand it, like, give it to God and let's get on with our day. And I'm not saying that anything is trivial or that, you know, we shouldn't be doing what we're doing or the processing that we need to process. The process that we might be going through, because this is a five of um, cups, fives are transition. So maybe we're transitioning ourselves out of some old emotions or some old feelings or letting them go, finally, so that we can move forward, um, understanding that there's, you know, maybe a, something better for us out there or spiritual awareness from all of this. Does that make sense? So let's go to the clarifiers really quick. <clears throat> We have the Five of Swords, okay, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. Somebody's not over a problem that happened, an argument, a battle, a debate. Um, somebody was alienated to a certain degree. Underpinning this too, I have to say, from the Sunday reading is the Ten of Pentacles. There's something way bigger, way better beyond this that we're processing through or towards. And I think that this Ten of Pentacles, I mean, we still have to finish off the week, right? So maybe by the weekend, we've turned a corner. But if we don't turn that corner, that Ten of Pentacles could be something that's further off in our future that we don't understand just yet. I'm going to say that right now. The Five of Swords would indicate that we're stuck on an argument, debate, or something that like was honestly, again, transitory, but also maybe even trivial. Or it was more about them than it was about us. Um, trying to make sense of it, but there's not maybe necessarily sense to be made, is my feeling. And so, I'm just going to leave that there at that, and let's go to the next card. Our girl, the Empress, is back. We need to get into this Divine Feminine energy. We saw her yesterday, too, and we need to understand this is her, the girl in the forest getting up and owning the fucking forest. <laughs> Excuse my language, but this is her understanding her connection to that forest, Embracing it, loving it. I'll say, excuse me, I need a coffee. Even to a certain degree, nurturing it. You know, that forest that may appear ominous and scary emotionally at first can be a form of protection. It can be a for source of wisdom. It can be, you know, sanctified and turned into power. That's why the Empress sits here in the center of this going like, you know this, or you've done this, or you can learn from this, you can use this to empower you rather than disempower you. And, and when I say empower you, I'm not talking from a place of ego with the Empress. That would be more maybe like Queen of Wands energy, but this is the Empress. She is connected to the Earth. She's the Giver Goddess, Earth Mother, Divine Feminine, Mother, Nurturer, associated with the planet Venus, which is a planet of love and and she is absolutely fabulous. And so we need to maybe process through some of our lower vibrational feelings around a situation that didn't quite work out and then rise up into our Empress energy is my feeling. And then that forest that's felt so ominous or scary does become like a, perfect, a, a, a protection for us, an understanding, a wisdom that empowers us rather than like disempowers us. Does that make sense? And then the last card is the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Lots of fives. We have five, five, five today. So that's interesting. Um, five of Pentacles, again, I'm going to say this, it's transitory, but I really do feel like this is the, the, the original feeling that I got when I saw the card was it's just like I'm, I'm picking up my toys and I'm going home kind of thing. Um, usually the Five of Pentacles is about being put out into the cold. I feel like this is actually the Empress 
saying, okay, the weather here is no longer any good, I am moving on. Um, I feel like the Empress has wrapped herself in that cloak and she's moving past that church and she's safe while doing so. The church always represents safety to me, like being right around us. Again, that sort of sense of protection. I feel like there is a loss here or there is a, a, a misgiving or a, a sad, sadness apparently with the Five of Cups being there. But on the 3D level, that being of Pentacles, we're making a decision to move on or continue on even in the face of adversity. Understanding our strength through the Empress and our spiritual strength through the Sanctity card to move ourselves forward regardless of whatever the loss may be or the risk of loss. Does that make sense? So, in other words, if we're still somewhat in the argument, maybe in our head emotionally around it, at some point we have to sort of, I feel like at the physical level, because it's pentacles, we have to kind of walk away or move on, even in the face of adversity or even in the face of the challenge of, well, if I move on or if I shift gears or chain, you know, if I no longer engage, what does this mean for me? It's like the empress doesn't care. <laughs> She knows what she needs, she knows what she deserves, and she's not going to accept anything less. And if we continue to kind of accept less, then we sort of set ourselves up for further confusion and five energy. And five energy is beneath the Empress, let's just say that. It's also interesting that she's the third card, we have three fives. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so, she's the third card of the Major Arcana. So, I really think today is a day of transition, but also empowerment. There's an opportunity for both. And we have to look at these things through the eyes of this sanctity card, in the sense that we have to understand that sort of, or believe in the fact that everything that happens, happens in divine timing. And everything, even if it's adverse or challenging or, are, you know, maybe even unacceptable to us, it's there and it's happening. So we have to accept it at some level and therefore take the learning or the teaching and evolve onward, forward. And I think that's the message for today. Continue, it's like that five of pentacles is moving to the ten of pentacles that underpins this energy today. There is something... And there's temperance underneath this for the midweek too, so we're still kind of having that temperance energy, which is that patience, that balance, that um, staying grounded, but also feeling our emotions. So this Five of Cups card is not a bad card to have. It's not a, oh no, I'm doing it wrong card. It's, I'm processing through it, and then I'm moving on. And that's kind of my feeling for today, right? Is that it's okay to process our emotions, feel our way through it, come to terms with it, understand it, find sort of the beauty or the sanctity in it, and then the beauty in ourselves and move forward, regardless of the outcome. That's the feeling I get. And I'm not saying that us moving forward means the situation, relationship, person, or whatever is finished in our life, but we're finished interacting with it in the way that we have been. That is the feeling that I get from these cards. And we're making that decision today from a place of hopefully empowerment. Now let's look to the grounding stone. It is the word happiness. We want to ground in the pursuit of our own happiness. Um, if we don't have it, which I don't think maybe we might with the five of cups there, we want to ground in this goal of happiness. This happiness is that ten of pentacles that underpins this. This is that joy, that um, like I don't know if self-sufficiency is the right word, but that's kind of the word I want to use. It is that in the Ten of Pentacles. It's like where we're able to have everything that we want and, and it be okay. Um, but we have to have that, we have to be in pursuit of our own happiness. And if we find ourselves in a situation that no longer makes us happy or brings us sadness, confusion, or misery, it's time to move on. It's time to sort of change how we treat ourselves or what we accept within that situation. The Empress knows what she deserves. And so, ground in that happiness, maintain your peace, that's also that temperance card in the midweek, 
and focus on your goals. They are attainable even in the face of adversity or challenge. That is your reading, guys. I hope it made sense. Please, if it did, hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video out. Leave me a question or comment. I do read them all and I appreciate all of them. And those of you that watch, thank you so very much. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We'll see how this energy transforms. Um, stay happy, okay? All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.